We're solving mysteries again. We're back. What I want to know is where's our dog in minivan? Well, it wasn't a minivan, it was a... Huh? Oh. Your hair feels heavy, making it hard to breathe. Mm. Our, our mystery van. Oh. I get you. Well, this lighthouse has been closed down for longer than we can remember. I can enter the lighthouse. It's up to you. I'm gonna... We'll, we'll, go home. we'll go home. We have other mysteries to check. Found another small key. Oh, we get the little. That, that's a really odd statue. Yeah, I would have left that. Yeah. So let's see. We got. Um, the Violent Vigil. I think I'll go with that one. You received an official looking letter. What does a law form from Tokyo want from you? We regret to inform you of the passing of our client and your grand uncle. His funeral will be preceded by an overnight vigil as per the client's request. There is an address and a list of people expected to arrive. You don't recognize any of the names. Intrigued, you decide to check it out yourself. What's the worst thing that could happen? Hmm. Well, after you, all you've been through, there's a lot that can happen. Yeah, right. Following the directions from the letter, you slowly fight your way through the overgrown forest path. The old mansion looks like it was torn down and rebuilt many times, but where is everybody? So, the whole uh, building begins to shake as you enter the room. Suddenly, a stone pillar bursts through the floor where you just stood seconds ago. Noticing the arcane symbols painted on the stone, you take a step closer. Do you want to touch the stone? Touch the stone. Oh, when your fingers touch the stone, the symbols disappear. That's a good thing, right? I would suppose. It takes you some time, but finally you manage to find someone. Is that another guest? You should ask them what's going on here. Four actions on the right allow you to investigate the location and interact with it. Who dead? Paris standing next to a window, the man is muttering something to himself while his wife is obsessing with it. Her unnaturally bulgy eyes. Oh, obsessing with you. Observing. observing you. Observing. Body is laid in the master bedroom. You should pay res him your respects. Uh, okay. I guess we'll just explore the mansion some more. Looks like one of the previous owners of this mansion likes to read. Dusty tones reach the ceiling. You don't have much time, but maybe you could spare some to look through the books. Um, I guess we can check out the table. Oh. Notes lying on the table look like ramblings of a madman. While trying to understand them, you read a passage aloud. Nothing happens, but you suddenly feel watched. You leave the reading room quickly. Oh. Pressing your handkerchief to your nose, you enter the dark room. There's no way they allowed your grand uncle to just lie there. What was the correct bow and clap order? Maybe other guests will know? Um, I think that there was something mentioned. Yeah. Before. That's like bow, clap, clap. Clap, clap, bow. You've prayed enough. Uh, I guess I can go back and talk to. Oh, there's a second person. I'm wondering because you know it's when she notices you. You can swear you've seen the symbol engraved on her necklace before. You didn't get this with the letter you were taking. What? Oh, not enough room. Item added to storage. Yeah, go to your item. Oh, maybe you can only. Maybe you have to go back home. Anyway. Wait. Oh, okay, so. I guess you can't go back home. Yeah, I don't think I, I can. This girl's got, like, no reason. Uh, okay, I was gonna say, like, that looks like the house being on fire. Is that is one of my options just to light the house on fire? I mean, she was apparently gonna do it with the with the damn uh, hospital earlier. Yeah, really. 
It's not like how do I on fire. How do I um Oh wait, open that back up again. Uh go to the suitcase. Maybe that's it. Which one? Next to the magnifying glass. Oh storage. Oh. Okay. How do I open up my storage though? Location's threat level increases. Hmm. That's weird. Maybe, Maybe I can oh talk wait. to her again. Look at the bottom. Um, not not there. Uh, underneath the candle. Last time. This one. Yeah, Study. Oh. I thought it would let you. Read the note. It looks like there's someone there. Mm -hmm. I'll take a hot bath. Is there any options at the bottom? Not there, maybe in the center? No, that's not. No. That's just for cleaning settings. Can't see my storage. Storage room. The shutter instantly recognizing the room from a newspaper photo. Three years ago, a man hanged himself here. Why is a village vigil held in a place like this? Check the wardrobe. He found a what? new item meat cleaver. Huh. Well, I guess that's it. Let's equip it then. No. Hmm? You are equipping it instead of the revolver? Oh, okay, not. Oh, okay. So we can go here. Oh, the body's gone. Mm -hmm. Oh, everybody else is gone too. Uh-oh. I like how the music changed, yeah. but it like went right back to normal when we explored. There's a local legend about a heartbroken seamstress. One stormy night, she broke into a local inn and stitched the unsuspecting guests together. Her final gruesome artwork. But that's just legend, right? Human centipede. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure they would have woken up at some point if she was going through all that. You can check the sewing machine or rifle through the cupboard. I'm gonna say just check the sewing machine because it sounds like if we rifle to the cupboard, we're gonna end up with needles all in our hands. Mm. Oh. Oh. Found you at last. Well then. Entering a dark room, you spot Pilato and his wife hugging each other. When they turn around, you scream in terror. Their bodies are slowly becoming one, and the few and the few faces express the same thing: rage. Oh. Well. Well, we only have 14 health, so... I want to shoot them. Actually, uh, can we... No, you can't exit once you've already started. <laughs> we'll just, uh, go with that. Oh. <sighs> yeah. We don't need we don't need that kind of negativity in in our lives. Yeah. I feel like I don't know if I want to use any more bullets because how many bullets do we have left? I don't think I don't think we use bullets. Though. I'm pretty sure we do. Oh, there's no. I thought it said it only has four bullets. Yeah. But also the meat cleaver does more damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Well, oh, damage one shot, shot nine. Yeah. Okay. But it just has a less chance of. It just has a less chance of hitting whenever you shoot. I'm not gonna lie, the gun's a pretty overpowered weapon to get like as quick as we did. Yeah. Oh. Oh, corpses are strung up on a wire, like the carbon marionettes with painted smiles and rosy cheeks. She's not doing good. Like no. her reason's down to one now. Following a weak, wavering cry, you enter a dark room. Inside, you spot a figure hunched in a corner. You recognize these twins of clothes, but this thing you can't possibly be human. Don't look at me. Oh, it's that lady. Uh, sh should I shoot her too? Then mm -hmm. I would prepare your attack first because it has less chance. Oh no, I'm past 85%. I thought it was less. She bit my arm, tearing off some flesh. Oh, the reason is all the way down. Oh. Oh. Your guys are doing the That ain't good. Oh. That encounter was the final straw. Your mind has snapped and you've been locked up in an asylum. It would be comforting to accept that you were insane, that no old god is awakening to devour you humans, that the drugs haven't made these horrors disappear. Hmm. You've perished. Oh, okay. So I guess if you, when you press Q, that it, like, automatically resolves that whole character then. Yeah. Whoops, I just bumped the mic. Okay. Should I play another one? Yeah, it's up to you. Yeah, I'll do one more. We'll see what we get. I just... Oh, a standard playthrough for you. Let's see, start the game without worrying about in-depth stuff for now. A true chaos is optional. Start a new playthrough, randomly selecting character, old guard, background, and more. Yeah, we'll go with that again. So, basically the way that the game like starts out, like this is just like the standard start. And then, pretty much you have a character it's and... randomly generated with different... Um, like a, a different god telling them what to do and different mysteries that they're no, investigating. No, the old god is still the same. It's just that it's randomized the events that the old god does, but... Uh... Okay. The supposed cause of destruction the... of the library of Alexandra. A perfect black marble statue has been recently rediscovered and is currently waiting in the museum of our town for its premiere. And we steal extra combat damage, backstory, world of horror, character exclusive, perk cards, only randomized item statistics. Well, um... Oh, nice. Yeah. See, this is, uh... Oh, I see. So, like, every... See, we have an old god that's assigned to us, and that gives okay, us... It, it gives us, like, a stat god. change. No, it gives us a stat change for what we do, and how the game kind of plays out. Okay. So. So. Pretty much from. Weird, nothing happens. Nothing else. So. Let's see. We got the Evolving Eels again, the Violent Vigil, Ooh. Bart Fable of Fear Festival, Moonlight Sailors again, and the Contagious Coma. I want to do the Fear Festival. Yeah, that sounds cool. Yeah. Far out Fable of Fear Festival, your aunt had sent you a letter inviting you for a curious sounding festival. It's held every 27 years in a small village. It's very specific. Yeah, right. Well, I mean, that sometimes there's festivals like that, but I feel like maybe it'd be cool to have a festival like every 27 years, but also like, I think how many people wouldn't 
may, like might not be able to get to experience that. Yeah. You don't like the sound of it. But your parents both agree you need a break from all the stress. Mm -hmm. Inside the letter, there's a bus ticket. What's the worst that could happen? You ask yourself as you board the bus. Oh, this is another one that pulls you like away from like the main city and invest and like investigative areas that you can normally go to. Explore the weird village. Just when you thought your stomach couldn't handle it anymore, the janky old bus stops. Janky. Yeah, it's. You get up and take a deep breath before looking around at the small village. The nearby fields are surrounded by a thick forest. Is something waiting for you? Oh, someone is waiting for you. Let's see. A fan. A, oh, a fat man. Wearing dusty overalls approaches you. It's the inn owner who promised to pick you up. Following close behind him, your eyes are drawn to his hands, which are so deformed they resemble claws more than hands. Hmm. Oh. Group has arrived at the village and is currently unpacking at the inn, giving you some time to explore. Festival begins at evening. For the rest of this mystery, choose actions that will advance the clock. Okay, so they're right here. Check out the inn, your room, free action. Okay, so this this doesn't advance the clock. Uh, the inn's room is dusty like it hasn't seen any visitors in years. You wonder if anyone cleaned it since the last festival 27 years ago. There's a folder of available activities lying on the table. Onsen. Oh, wait, is that like uh, the bath? Yeah, it's like a bathhouse. Cool. Hot spring, yeah. Oh, my stamina's already full, though. Yeah. Well, maybe you can go back later. Um... We'll, we'll explore the village for a little bit. Unseasonable floods have caused... closed many of the roads, look for an alternate way. Uh, you wasted a lot of time looking for a safe path. So, I couldn't make it to the... Oh, it's night now. I guess we'll go to the festival, then. Before the festival starts, the locals are seemingly busy setting up stands and decorating the place. Few stands are already open, but you can't shake off the feeling something is wrong. It's getting late. So, enjoy festival, buy souvenirs, look for friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's look for friends. To your friend Iowa. Hello, can you spare some time with me? I guess so. Learn more about the festival itself. A weird sound wakes you up. You step closer to the windows and look out. You can can't see anything, get ready to go back to bed when suddenly the moon comes from behind the thick clouds. Three hooded figures are standing at the forest edge. One by one they light their torches and disappear behind the trees. What was that about? Who are they? Who are they? They all wore strange masks. Should you follow them into the forest to try and find more information about the festival? Let's try to explore the village really quick and see what we find. A well, trail to an abandoned Shinto shrine is overgrown and steep, however, it could be an important place to investigate. Don't take the safe route. Cost you time, but you get to the top without incident. Burnt out candle wax and dried blood around the shrine mean that a new sinister cult has claimed this location. Huh. Should we check the uh, forest? Or should we go to the festival? I think you need a friend with you. To check out the forest. Hmm. Your friend was able to come with you then. Okay. Oh, there's still some time. I don't know. Oh, that's scary. Test your luck at this fine game. I guess get one ticket. See you soon. Mm. That's creepy. Yeah. Now we should definitely go to the forest. It's nighttime now. <laughs> I guess. Bam, we're going to the forest. Following a trail of rotten fruit, you stumble on a small forest shrine. It's probably probably dedicated to some local spirit. The small statue looks alien and menacing. Wow, my options are to pray and destroy the shrine. That's ah, great. We'll just pray. Hmm. We got a small piece of paper. Yeah. Going back to the inn, you overhear two masked villagers. They are talking about something. Awakening up, uh, awakening up at the next. I think that's dawn. Dawn. It's not safe here. Maybe just it's not safe. Here. You decide to, to block 
entrance to your room with the maximum pestles ending tomorrow and you can't be too careful. Hmm. Let's check out the forest again. Wandering through the wood, you discover strange carvings. Oh, I don't have a camera. Look what they were made recently. Could they be connected with the current mystery? Knowledge check failure. You can't tell what this strange symbols mean. Wandering aimlessly in the forest, it will take some time before you can pick up the trail again. All right, we'll head straight to the festival this time and we'll look for friends, I guess. Oh my God, it's the dude from from up. <laughs> I guess help them. Yeah. Nice apparel, everything. I guess so. Oh, everything's everything's bloody. Mm. It's smelling a uh, trail of blood and sickly smelling sludges lead to an outskirt of the village somewhere in the dark forest. There's an answer waiting for you. Uh. I, never, I was not able to find a weapon so far. I have a feeling that you're being watched, and when you hear a branch snapping, you quickly turn around. There is someone standing in the trees just a few meters away. Uh, start running. When you get to the edge of the woods, got scared, but safe. Um, I guess we'll explore again. It's just, uh... Parasitic organism burrows under the bark, undulating slowly. I don't think I've ever seen a parasitic uh, thing that went after trees like that. Mm. I need a steak knife. I, I guess I was supposed to explore like the actual inn a little bit more. No, well, there's a camp that you can explore too. Uh, yeah, I guess I could. Oh, that's just rest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What you thought was just a discarded pile of clothes suddenly moves. As it stands up, a cloud of white powder is released into the air. Oh. What? He has a lot it's of a HP. Mushroom? Yeah. Uh, I guess we're going to look for an improvised weapon, because that's the only thing I can think to do. Mm. Maybe it'll be another battle. Okay. We'll go with that. Yeah, you got a broken bottle. Yeah. Okay, so it just made me call. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully we can... Mm. Oh, he stabbed me with a knife? Yeah. Jeez, that escalated really quickly. A second ago, he was just making me cough. Yeah. Uh, then again, I guess I did stab him with a bottle. Uh, well, at least I'm working him down. Should get him in this one. Yeah. There, there we go. go. Oh, now our only option is to go all the way to the oak. Enter overgrown factory. The sun is slowly rising as you get closer to the abandoned industrial building. Cautiously entering the factory, you can't help but notice the forest got totally silent. Hmm. Oh. You're not the only one trying to stop the ritual and save your friends. Special forces have raided the occult hideout, arresting the suspects. Let outside, the handcuffed cult leader suddenly stops. You are too late, they say in a raspy voice. Our lord is free once more. Huh. Later that day, after an interrogation, detectives let you go free. Festival guests are still missing to this day. You board the old bus, wondering what exactly happened out there. The being wants more? That's one of my rewards? It's a ritual. Yeah. Alright. 
So, weird epidemic keeps staff at the hospital busy. Skipping the line will cost you more. Huh. Well, I guess we'll go home. Got a small key. Yeah. We got a light costume. Oh, nice. I can change clothes? What? That's a nice movie poster. Looking good. How do you... Oh, I see this over here. Captain. Teacher's pet. Mm -hmm. Gym clothes. Huh. Alright. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay, so this is my storage. I don't know if I should hold on to the lighthouse key, just because we haven't even gone to the lighthouse once yet. Yeah. But I, I guess I could go. Put it in storage for now. Maybe put it in storage for now. Yeah, I guess I could do that. There we go. Take a peep through a peephole. Oh, it's just someone is standing in the shadow watching the door. Mm. Interesting. Uh, I feel like I should make her take a bath. Just hot shower, extra stamina, warm water, small XP boost, extra reason. Empty bottle. I mean, I have a broken one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll go with that. Alright. So what else do we have? I guess we'll check out the coma one, right? Yeah. We'll do that one. Mm. Curious. More and more people fall unconscious and cannot be awakened. People trying to wake up the patients up will result with them falling into coma themselves. The whole wing of the town's hospital has been detected, uh, dedicated for the comatose. Is there anything connecting those these people with how did this strange illness start? Advance this mystery and investigate the circled location as you progress the location and maybe those may change. Okay, so the more we investigate the location that it has circled, the mm -hmm. faster we complete the mystery, but we can investigate other stuff. Yeah. And that will give us like items and other stuff and okay. things, I guess. So, um, I guess we'll investigate the school first. Then, oh, it says to investigate the village twice to complete the. Oh, maybe that's just to complete the whole thing, though. No, I think it's just for that random quest. Yeah. I'll check it next. Mod Education 101. Oh, no, no. A friend returning from a trip to Africa has invited you to dinner. This time they've outdone themselves. This is a real feast, full of exotic meals. It's getting late and you can't stay for long, but the host asks if you want to take anything home for you, home with you. Uh, I guess we'll take wine. Or steak? I don't know. I only say wine because I think that, that if cigarettes help your reason, then maybe wine would too. Maybe, but... Also, I mean... Steak might just go to stamina. But it also says it's to die for, and I'm just like, uh... Yeah. That just seems ominous. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we got, a we got a wine bottle. Alright. We'll, we'll go to the village again. Oh. oh! Okay, I think it's a... It's just a mask? Oh. You had no idea that the funeral you've been invited to would end with the guests slashing their hands to feed the deceased with their blood. 
You stay at the back, shocked by how grotesque it is. Suddenly the guests turn their heads in your direction. It's your turn now. Ooh. Fight our way out. <laughs> mm, yeah, your prison isn't too great. Let, let's go. Oh. oh no. When, however, this only enrages the mourners, they soon catch up and overpower you. After involuntary sacrifice, they toss you out on the street. What? Plus one injury card. That's weird. Village hand your package. This should this help you understand the illness. The what? what? Best of I don't know. I think that was uh, visible creatures are oh, partially well, visible. That works. That's what you got from the. Yeah. Okay, that's my item storage. I... Oh, okay. That's what I wanted. That's what I was. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Oh. Okay, I can use that in the shower though. I kind of want to try that. Oh, okay, so that's the threat level. That's interesting. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go rest and I'll see what the bottle does. No, you can't, because oh. you've already taken a bath recently. You have to wait until you finish the mission and then you can go back. Oh, home. okay. Yeah. It's been almost a year since a childhood friend moved away to another city. He left suddenly without even saying goodbye. In a recent letter, he apologized for the disappearance and asked you to remove the furniture from his flat because he wants to sell it. Oh, we've already got Yeah, we've already done this, but I mean, I guess... That's the only option we have is to help. Alright. Yeah, it says I don't have the flashlight item, and I, it only gives me the option. Oh, this yeah. time we succeeded. Explains it. Oh, you can find another letter behind the wardrobe that explains that the reason your friend left was that the shadow people were stalking him and Shudder. When you realize you haven't seen the moving company's truck driver's face, truck driver's face. Hmm. Weird. All right. So. Let's go to the hospital then. You don't have any. Oh no, you have a broken bottle. Yeah. A nurse practice. You lazily chat on the roof. The hospital watch in the sunset. Now would be the perfect opportunity to ask about the recent unhealthy, unearthly events. Don't ruin the calm moment. Ask. Stories about missing patients, mysterious surgery, excuse me, surgeries and a store, uh, strange infection are helpful, but they kill the mood. You must leave this place. Alright. I feel like I almost kind of want to, like, like, I kind of want to investigate some areas to see if I can get a better weapon. Yeah. Or it's seen the twist and turn when you're not looking, trapping you in this neighborhood. Oh, jeez. Get lost. You spend hours trying to find your way out, finally completely exhausted, you end up on the main street as the passage to the lighted yeah, neighborhood slowly closes behind you. Alright. It seems like it's sometimes really hard to get a, a weapon in this, and other times it's fairly easy. You have enough to level up, too. Yeah, I guess I'll do that right now. Art knowledge. Plus one perception. Regain one stamina for all past events skill checks. I'm gonna go with that. Dis uh, discipline. Maybe on knowledge. Your knowledge is really low. 
Mm -hmm. Charisma. Mm. I'll go with knowledge. When the patient came home one morning covered in scars and babbling about aliens, the police had them committed, mumbling something quietly as you passed by. Wow. So we, we would need to avoid them if only if we had the paranoia status. Uh, try reasoning with them to tell you what they, really happened, but it doesn't work. It takes two nurses to calm them down after they roughed you up. Huh. Weird. Oh, I didn't realize I needed to investigate downtown. It's getting dark as you arrive at the cemetery and shadows move in frantic and unaccountable ways between the tombstones. Finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze in your back. Confront the stranger. I only have a, I only have a bottle. Can't seem to find the right tombstone and waste a lot of time before finally admitting defeat. Hmm. Never go home and rest. I forget you're raising your doom by doing this too. Is is our doom like something that Matt raises your doom too? Each time you access the shop. Oh. Look at the camera. Okay. There we go. I wonder if the doom is like your likelihood of dying. Or maybe just more not great yeah. runs. I wonder what. I guess you need a high dexterity to figure out what's in the box. Mm -hmm. What's this? Oh, okay. I'll go back. Hey, you got an oddly shaped. Oh, I thought you said that you got an oddly shaped pickaxe from it. I was like, oh, hey. Yes. Well, I guess that's a weapon. Yeah. Where that you can buy that from uh, the hospital or the pharmacy. Yeah. Uh, then I no, actually, they do sell those at pharmacies. Nurse trying to open the door to the intensive care unit, constantly mumbling something. She turns around and her face makes you scream in horror. Uh-oh. Hmm. What? Uh... Doll nurse. Hmm? Doll nurse. Oh, doll nurse. Yeah, what? Did, did the music just go away? Yeah. Oh, no, it's still... Hmm. It's just like there's no... There's... No sound. Mm. Oh, she just screams blasphemies. I don't think it actually does damage to me. Her damage is minus one radiant. Weird. Okay. Investigate the quarantine room. Manage to sneak through the floor, avoiding the police, and finally reach the quarantine wing, wing where all the coma patients are oh. brought in. Their pulse is slowly weakening, the blood pressure is dropping. Just you must hurry. Insane. You can turn invisible and invisible. Oh, oh, weird. Following the old man's advice, you throw the dust of seeing in the air. It reveals weird, elongated monsters hanging from the ceiling, one above every bed. Each creature is connected to a patient with an un undulating tendril. As you try to process everything, one of the uh, disgusting creatures raises its head and looks in your direction. The creature causing the continuous coma plaguing your town has taken notice of you must defend yourself or perish. Creepy. 
Oh, it's got a lot of health. Yeah, it does two damage to all. Well, I'm glad I got the scalpel at least. I almost kind of wish I got the uh, bandage too. Yeah. Melts your memories. What? Oh, it reminds me of like uh, Ghastly or like Haunter. Devours. Dream Devourer. Tears your flesh. Oh, huh. yeah. You're getting well already. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's not looking too good. Taking them a little more than half down. Almost health, though. Yeah. There we I go. Need some more. It tries to swallow you whole. Hmm. Jeez. There we go. Nice. Oh, what? Creature's uh, severed body falls on the floor and starts melting slowly. The remaining part slithers back into the now closing hole in the ceiling. You manage to catch a glimpse of the other side. The other side makes you fall on your knees. It wasn't body. We've managed to cut. It wasn't body. We've managed to cut it off. It was just a finger. What? Oh, okay. So that little thing was just a finger that you just saw. Weird. So, cut off from the outside world. The whole town stopped receiving any outside signal. It must be the radio mast failure. Well, yeah. are we ready to take a break? I think so. I'm just going to have her rest, I guess. So I want to see what the bottle does. Oh, we can fill it with water. All right. Yeah. See you later. See you.